Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at one of the most popular terms being used in our lovely little world, and it is the quiet luxury thing that we've got going on, the whole trend, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be looking at handbags, which I think would be perfect to add to anyone's collection who would like something that is actually quite luxury. Now, the reason why I say that is actually quite luxury, because I don't think that everything is as quiet as it seems. For example, exhibit A, right behind me, the Birkin. <laughs> Although it is a very simple bag and back in the day, you know, a good few years ago when no one really knew what the Birkin was, that would have been a great example of quiet luxury. However, that is not the case anymore and I feel like because everyone wants a Birkin and they're so popular, I wouldn't necessarily call the Birkin quiet anymore. And it's not something that I would, I would include in this list for that reason because I don't believe that it is as quiet as one would like to think. And I prefer things that are genuinely quiet. Um, where not a lot of people know what they are, but because, you know, Cardi B and people like that, they walk around with Birkins, they rap about Birkins, and so on and so forth. It's put the Birkin into mainstream. But yeah, uh, this isn't the point of the thing. I'm not trying to thing. I'm just giving you my opinion on what quiet luxury is. Now, when it comes to the actual trend itself, personally for me and the way that I've always dressed, it's not a, it's not really a trend, okay? <laughs> I've always been quite simple and that's what I think quiet luxury is. Simple, not really knowing where the things a person is wearing is from. You know, you see them wearing a bag, you don't necessarily know what brand bag it is because there's no logos on it. There's nothing that's out there in your face screaming, hey, this is Louis Vuitton. However, for someone who is kind of more on the logo side and stuff like that and likes bright, loud colors, is, then this will definitely be a trend for you. Now, when we look at fabrics and, and, and brands that scream quiet luxury, we're looking at Kate, which you guys know. <laughs> I love my Kate cardigan. Please do not ruin it for me, okay, quiet luxury trend. But take a Veneta, I would say is kind of a... It's quite luxury, but is it really that quiet? Do you know what I mean? The clothing is definitely quite luxury. I will give it that. The clothing is 100% quiet luxury because there's nothing really like out there in your face. Um, but in terms of handbags, because of how popular they are, I feel like I can't, I can't, have I included them? Yes, I have included them in this list. I have. I have, I have, I have, but it's not a very popular bag and that's why I've included it in the list. For me, anything that's not popular and like way out there is quiet luxury. That's it. <laughs> Essentially, these are pieces that you'll be able to use forever and ever. And when you spend so much money on items, I've always said you want to invest in timeless classic pieces and quality items, which is another main point when looking at quiet luxury. You're paying more for not only, oh, of course, the brand name, because nothing is actually worth the price we pay, but you're also paying for the quality in the material that you're purchasing, the way that it's made, the craftsmanship behind it. You can see in pieces like Kate, for example, where the craftsmanship and the quality of the items that you're purchasing are, I hate to say it, but in some ways worth the money that you're paying, if it's on sale. <laughs> If it's not on sale, it's not worth it. Walk away, just, just carrying about your day. But anyways, the whole point of the video is I'm gonna give you eight bags that I think scream quiet luxury. But before we get into things, if you're new to my channel, welcome. We focus on all things luxury and fashion. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and turn on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. For all my old subscribers and everyone that's been here for a while, you guys know I haven't released a video in a long while and I'm not going to address anything in the past or the past videos because I've already filmed videos talking about it and basically thanking you guys. Um, I don't want to talk about it in this video because <laughs> basically the way that I've done things is very, I've been filming and trying to get myself back into things and because I've been filming over the last few weeks trying to get back into things, I've got footage but this is going to come out before that and basically I just don't want to keep the... <laughs> So <laughs> stay tuned for my next few videos where I'll probably speak more about the way that I'm feeling um, and actually 
thank you guys for 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 still being here and being the way that you are even though i'm kind of doing it indirectly now but um <laughs> without further ado let's dive into bag number one we're looking at the totem t-lock top handle bag and I'm in love with this bag, you guys, okay? The, the shape of it, this whole thing, which the puzzle bags actually do, which is why I have a strong liking towards them. You see the way that it slouches down in the middle here? The shape of the bag is already like that. And I, I don't know, I just have this current obsession for bags that kind of slouch down in the middle like this. So this bag, when I saw it, I was like, yes, we have to have her in this list. Because first of all, she has no logos on it. So no one is going to know where this bag is from. Second of all, I don't think it's popular, like at all, at all, especially on social media. So you will be carrying something that is truly quiet and I love that fact about this bag it also comes with a strap okay we don't need to just carry it on our hand you know top handle or however we, we've got a strap which is adjustable it's also got a T as the closure for Tiana <laughs> and totem last because you know I was born first. I also like the clutch of it, which they do have. I really, really like this bag. And I think out of the whole list, it definitely sits at the top as one of my favorites because of how simple it is. I think this bag is a really good example of a handbag that is quiet, you know, because not a lot of people are going to know where it's from, what brand it's from. And I really do appreciate that about this bag. I also love the shape of it. I think the shape just gets me. <laughs> it's just the shape. <laughs> Bag number two, we're looking at the Celine Classic Box Bag. Now, I could have picked the Celine Triumph, right? I could have, I really, really could have. But again, I feel like this is too mainstream now and has and is becoming way too mainstream to include in the quiet luxury section. I'm not saying it's not a classic bag because I do think the Triumph is definitely 100% a classic bag. It's timeless, it's chic, it's just... It's beautiful, but is it as quiet as one would like? I don't think so, which is the reason why I've gone for the medium size classic. And in terms of logo, I, there's nothing on here, nothing at all. It's blank, <laughs> nada, not even anything Celine orientated on the outside of the bag. This for me screams more quiet than the Celine Triumph, which is why I've included this one and not the Triumph. It also comes in an array of colors and finishes. There's one here, which you guys can see right now. It's like a, what is it? Let me see, textile. Textile, so material stuff. <laughs> Trimming in natural calfskin, lambskin lining. However, this bag is being discontinued. So I had to find other bags, you know, <laughs> we want something similar. And Saint Laurent, the Le Carré bag. This is another one, an alternative to the Celine bag. And I'm so sorry, I've just realized my speaker's not turned on and it's gonna drive me mad. So I'm not gonna continue the video without the speaker. I'm gonna turn it on and I apologize. <sighs> you know what, this is really gonna bug me because I'm a perfectionist. I'm gonna be like, no. Okay, we're on, it's working. I can see the mic thingy. Oh, you guys have no idea how much this is gonna bug me. I'm so sorry, I really am. I hate when things like this happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to what I was saying. Quiet, guys, this is the whole theme. Every single bag I'm showing you, you're not gonna know unless you know. Plain, simple, no logos, we don't want those. This bag does have a single shoulder strap. My personal favorite one has to be this beige. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. It just looks so pretty. And the gold hardware really does complement it a lot. It is a little bit cheaper than the Celine Classic bag, so if you didn't wanna go past the 2,500 pound mark, then this is definitely a great alternative. I've also added, I mean, technically this is bag number four, but we're not gonna say it's bag number four because we're putting it under the one house. <laughs> we're looking at the Le Manon, again from Saint Laurent. And the reason why I like this one is because it's got compartments. Do you guys know I'm a sucker for compartments? Any little bag that looks chic, that looks just mwah, and has compartments in it, I'm like, yes, you're for me, you're the bag for me. So out of the two, if I had to pick one, I think I would pick the Le Melon because, or Melon, Melon bag, <laughs> because of the fact that it has the compartments. Again, classic, no logos whatsoever. You're not gonna know where it's from. Add into the whole theme of quiet luxury. Bag number four is going to be from a brand that 
actually is the definition of quiet, like it's the epitome of quiet luxury, the row guys. And we look at this top handle called the Sophia 8.75. This bag is, yeah, you know, it's from the row, okay? <laughs> Anything from the row, you have no idea it's from there because you just don't know, you know, it's it's just a garment with nothing on it. You're just not gonna know unless something maybe is popular, like the cardigan from Kate, that is popular, you know when you know when you see it and you're like, oh, okay, that's Kate, we know she's wearing Kate. But with the row, there's no way of telling what or where their clothing is from because they're very, very minimal. So in my opinion, unless you're familiar with their clothing and their releases, you're not going to have a clue. And this is why, this is definitely in this list I had to include something from there and this is just a top handle there is no strap towards this bag it literally is a bag with a top handle if I'm completely honest with you it gives me the whole you know the, the Gucci bamboo top handle bag it gives me that kind of vibe in a less loudy way I feel like the Gucci one is very very loud because of the fact that you've got the bamboo handle and it's very like if you see someone wearing it, it's unusual, right? It's not something that you usually see, which is gonna draw a lot of attention. And that's another thing which I would say quiet luxury is all about. You don't want items that draw a lot of attention to you, which is why it's called quiet luxury, you know? You're not trying to show your wealth. You're not trying to capture people's attention, which is why I've gone for this bag. Number five on the list, I had to add Loewe. And no, no, we're not including the puzzle bag because we know the puzzle bag, okay? We all know. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful bag yes 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 don't get me wrong but we know I went for the flamenco instead because this is again a great example of a quiet bag I absolutely love the flamenco bag and I did actually mention it in one of my oh, oh gosh it was a while ago when I done the video but <laughs> I did mention this bag being a hot commodity this year and the reason why, well I didn't know quite luxury was going to be a trend back then but I did mention this bag would be a great bag to buy this year and the reason why is because it fits so so well with this trend, okay? It fits perfectly. So this is a great option if you are looking for a bag that's a little bit different, very very casual, relaxed. It comes in so many different variations, so many different colours and another reason why why I feel like I like the flamenco bag a lot, especially with this trend. You're seeing a lot of tone on tone when it comes to the way that people are dressing. Less colour, more of your neutrals, black, beiges, browns. I think you can get away with adding this particular bag as a bright colour to this whole trend and it not being too overpowering because of the softness of the bag. I think it's a fun way to add a little bit of interest to an already minimal and, and, and simple outfit but it's not too much because of the way that the bag is made, the structure of the bag, it still keeps that softness, it still keeps that je ne sais quoi <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Looking at Pauline for bag number six, we're looking at the Tonka bag. Now this is actually a new bag that has just recently been released or a little while ago, I don't know. You know, I've been gone for so long, it feels like everything that I'm looking at now is new, but it's probably been out for a little while, sorry. I'm still getting back into things, slowly but surely, guys. <laughs> Pauline is a brand. I, I love their bags. Their bags are very, very minimal. They're also really, really well priced. So if you're looking for something that isn't crazily expensive or anything like that, and you don't want to spend crazy amounts of money, but want a good quality bag, this is a really, really good brand. And their bags are absolutely stunning. Not just this bag, but a lot of their bags in general, I'm in love with. I love the shape of them. If you know the brand, then you'll know the brand. If you don't know the brand, then it's just another bag, but a bag that doesn't look like every other bag. Number seven on the list, we're looking at Bottega Veneta. No, I did not pick the Jody because I feel like the Jody has done its time too. Okay, it's not done its time. It's still a beautiful bag, you know? We all love a Jody. The sardine bag is the one that I went with. It's not a very popular bag and that's why I've gone with it and I love it so, so much. It's a little bit on the more expensive side than I'm willing to ever pay, but I still love it. <laughs> I think it's very, very chic and it has that like hobo vibe, but then that handle at the top just adds that chicness to the actual bag. Because it's not a very popular bag and you know, not everyone's wearing this bag. Quiet luxury, there you have it. That's what you want from Bottega Veneta. Jody had my heart once upon a time. She still has my heart to be fair, just the prices don't. So I'm like, hmm. I'm walking away from you, Jody. I am. 
we're not going there. It's over. Our relationship is over. <laughs> and last but not least, we could not not have Hermes in this list. Like, come on. We need some Hermes. And this one might be a little bit controversial because some of you might be like, yeah, well, we all know what an Evelyn is. But guys, 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 what you don't understand is with the Evelyn, we have loud and quiet. <laughs> And the reason why I've had to include this one because I genuinely do think that when you wear this bag this way, not a lot of people are going to think Evelyn because most people wear it this way. Everyone wants people to see the Evelyn on them in this way. In which case, yeah, fine, you know, we all know Hermes, we all know H for Hermes because that's all H stands for. But when you put it this way, you know, it's quiet all of a sudden. People are questioning, is it an actual Hermes bag? Is it, is it, is it? We don't know. Because majority of people are wearing it like this. So that is why I've included it in this list. Now, you might disagree and be like, well, I know. Yes, I know too, we all know. Um, but I still think it is a very, very good example of a quite luxury bag that can be loud if you want it to be. She's comfortable, she's great for your walks, she's not in your face, and for me, Another definition of quiet luxury, something that's not in your face. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I miss doing this, you know that? Sitting here talking to you just... <laughs> I feel like I've got verbal diarrhea. Can stop talking. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the weekend and hopefully I shall catch you in next week's video. Take care, bye.